In this video, I wanna show you how to transfer your media footage from the camera to your desktop computer. So there's generally two different ways to take media from your camera to your desired device. You can either use Insta360 Studio on your phone, or you can do what I'm gonna show you to do now, and we're gonna use a cable and connect it straight to our computer, depending on where you want to edit your footage and what you want to do with it. I personally like to edit my footage on a desktop in Insta360 Studio, so that's why I prefer transferring my footage from the camera straight to my computer. So it's really simple to do. You're gonna need a USB-C cable that connects to a USB-C cable. This is just off a MacBook charger, but anything will do. Plug a USB-C cable into the side of your Go 3's action pod, and then plug the other end of your USB-C straight into your MacBook. This will also work as if you've got a USB-C on the end of it as well, so if you wanna plug into a Windows computer, that is how you would do it. And then you'll notice a red light will come on on the back of the screen of your camera, just letting you know that the action pod is plugged in and it's actually charging right now. We're then gonna turn the Go 3 on and you'll notice on the back of the screen, it will tell you that it is in what's called as U-Disc mode. You basically wanna click that on the screen and that will basically connect your camera to your computer. Once we've done that, you should see a utility drive on your computer, which is called Insta360 Go 3. Double click that, click DCIM, camera 01, and in there you will see all your footage that you have shot on the camera. And you'll notice that Insta360 saves a number of different types of files. So you might see more files than you thought you actually took videos of or photos of. And that's because it saves low resolution files as well. So you want the vid underscore videos. These are all your high quality videos. And then all you simply do is highlight the ones that you want, drag them to your preferred destination, whether it's on your desktop or a separate folder on your computer. And that is how you do it. And then from there, you can edit them in a movie making software like Final Cut Pro or iMovie or Premiere Pro. They are saved as MP4 files normally, so you can just edit them straight away. You don't have to reframe them like you would with 360 footage. Hope that was useful. There will be some other videos on this channel of how to transfer footage from the camera onto a phone. So make sure you go and check those out as well as other tips on the channel and any comments or questions about the camera, let me know and I'll get back to you with an answer.